Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a hard sheath for this dagger I made. The dagger handle is made from stainless steel, pokobola wood, and elk antler. I'm going to start by drawing out right where the end of the... I want the wood to be cut. I'm going to leave a little bit extra space so that when I'm grinding it I don't go too far. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to Cut it in half, so I'll have two thinner pieces to work with. So I got my two halves. They're a little bit uneven, so I'm gonna take it to the grinder and smooth them out. Make sure there's no edges sticking up. I'm gonna trace the outline of my blade I'm going to do this on both halves, then I can start chiseling out the part on the inside of the outline. Make sure they line up perfectly. I started with a chisel. I've never done this before. It was taking a long time. So I decided I was going to switch to a router. The first couple of passes, I I didn't have it sticking out too far. I just wanted to get good outline. And I brought the router bit out a little bit, got a little bit farther into the wood. And I just kept doing this, kept bringing it out a little farther, testing the blade to see if it would fit. Put both pieces together and it was just about perfect. Had to do this process one more time. I got it to where it fit just how I wanted. Now I need to epoxy both halves together. I used as little epoxy as I could. I didn't want there to be any epoxy spilling into the center cut. That would affect how the dagger fit back into it. I was also really careful, since these are thinner pieces of wood, not to clamp them too hard. I don't want any cracks. After the epoxy set for 48 hours, try the blade, make sure it would still fit. It was a lot tighter fit than it was before, but that was just what I wanted. I'm going to clean up the all the edges, make sure it's all really flush. I got as close as I felt comfortable with on the saw before taking it back to the grinder. I'm going to get it finished as closely as I can with the grinder, but then after that I'm going to hand sand. I'm rounding it out a little bit, but when I use the sandpaper I'll get the more rounded look that I want. That's as far as I'm gonna go on the grinder. Got a couple areas at a dark spot, burnt the wood a little bit. So when I'm sanding, I'll be able to get rid of that.
I use a glove when I put it in the vise. I don't want to clamp it too hard or I crack the antler. But it is loose as I could, but still so it wouldn't move around too much. To get the rounded shape that I want, I'm going to be using 180 grit sandpaper. When I'm first starting to round any knife handle or sheath, I like to use long strips of sandpaper. This helps me get the rounded look that I want. I only do this on the, the lowest grit of sandpaper as you get the finer grits. It's not going to really round it that much more. I'm going to work my way up to 2000 grit like I would with any other piece of wood, any knife handles. You can see it's getting really rounded. It's a lot easier to sand out of the vise. I'm going to polish the, the sheath. First, I like to use rubbing alcohol to get all the dust off, get it nice and clean. That way, the linseed oil really gets in the wood. And one more thing I wanted to do is put my logo on the sheath. I started using my torch after about 10 minutes sitting there it really wasn't getting that hot so I went to the forge speed it up I'm gonna use a test piece of wood first make sure it does what I want the First time, it's really hot and it's burning more than I wanted. So I did a couple of test pieces. So after three, it's about where I want. So then I went to my piece and I thought I was zoomed out more than I was. Then we use some steel wool to lighten it a little bit and bring out more of the pattern. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see how I made this dagger, just let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.